Uh, but uh, this uh, from one of our guests who uh, hopefully we'll be talking to shortly. It's live music from Glastonbury from Warpaint. <laughs>
applause run for a while so we can soak that up. Uh, War Paints at uh, the Glastonbury Festival. Hugh Stevens is here. Hugh Stevens meets War Paints. Uh, uh, St- Stella Hello. and Jen are here. How was it yesterday then? It sounds amazing. Fun. Yeah, it's a, a really fun. good time. Did you, uh, what did you know about Glastonbury before uh, you, uh, you bowled up here? Mm, it was dirty. <laughs> Like Is Babylon, that? basically. Right. It's just insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's uh, your first impressions as you arrive? Because a little like tourists who go to New York just spend the first five minutes just looking upwards and saying, mm-hmm. isn't everything tall? Mm-hmm. Uh, as you come over the brow of the hill, did you have that, oh, look, it's so big. I just said it's too big. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I just came to the conclusion that I wasn't going to be a part of it. Right. Any, <laughs> any, any more than is necessary. Did but you, that changed you know, pretty quick. But there was a split second where you thought, um, we're just turning no, around. Yeah, it's <laughs> insane. It's insane. I thought it was a large crowd looking at a band. My perspective was right. wrong. Right. But then I realised that it was those were all tents. So have you, have you taken to it now, the Glastonbury experience? We had fun last night. Yeah? Yeah. A lot of laughing. <laughs> a, lot of a lot of walking. Falling. Do you, do, you, do you get any chance when you go to a festival as a band to go off and see anyone else? Did you go and see anyone last night? <clears throat> yeah, we did. We were lucky enough to play on the same stage as um, a few friends of ours, Jenny and Johnny. Oh, right, yeah. And, um, and Radiohead. Yeah, played. of course. So. What did, you make of, what did you make of Radiohead? It's pretty the, insane. Yeah. It was pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Well, the new album, and I suppose in front of that many people as well, mm-hmm. unveiling it, it's a very good place to do it, really, I think. Yeah, you could tell. It was really nice to see how genuinely nervous they were, mm. you know. It seemed and more we, intimate than normal, too, than a mm-hmm. normal Radiohead show, yeah. which is cool. Isn't that strange, mm-hmm. how you can be it. so intimate and so large yeah. at the same time? I guess because they tried to keep it a secret for so long. Yeah. yeah. It's like that special last-minute invited party. Mm-hmm. We've had a few of those down the years uh, mm-hmm. here, haven't oh, we? Oh, Tom York played on the park stage just last year, didn't he? He did. Yeah, right. So maybe he'll do it every year now with a different project, <laughs> right. a different <laughs> solo thing. I think that surprise element, though, is going to wear thin, don't you? If you keep pulling <laughs> yeah, that one. Every year. Yeah. It's always him. <laughs> yeah. 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 And who's Friday. the surprise? <laughs> uh, in the Tom York surprise slot, will be this year. <laughs> Tom York, welcome to the stage. <laughs> Tom York and Bananarama. How, um, if you, when you're on stage, what do you do? You look at anything because when every time I've seen you so far in a smaller venue like the Lexington, you seem to be almost in your own little world. Are you conscious that there's all these people out there? Do you focus on anyone? Occasionally, I I find that when I'm singing, I focus on one person. Right. I just stare at them. It keeps me in the groove. But yeah. most of the time, I'm just looking at her and laughing. And is, it, <laughs> is it is it in any way distracting when the one time you look up when you're singing, there's just a flag with a stupid slogan on it because there's loads of those I, I've never yeah, I've never like honed in on a slogan no, like. <laughs> I saw a good one for Jenny the other day where was it? it was in Germany oh Germany we, we, we played the um, the Hurricane Festival right and there was someone a girl in the front row this cute little meek girl just had a sign that said I'd go gay for Jenny Lee Lindbergh <laughs> But she never nothing, saw it. Nothing. <laughs> I didn't see it. Nothing beats a homemade flag. It's true. Does it really? Mm-hmm. Uh, where are you? Where are you off to next? Then, uh, what are you? Do? Are you hanging around for the rest of the weekend? Are you playing mm-hmm. again? Playing, yeah, today. playing today. That's right. At what time are you on today? Four fifty, John Peel. Oh, and that's, uh, and that's a really friendly stage. Mm-hmm. Now, I popped down there okay. earlier on today. That's going to be brilliant. Well, listen, uh, we won't detain you any longer. Thank you very much uh, <laughs> for you. Uh, coming Thanks, in. Uh, it sounded good to your track as well, didn't it? Our engineers are bang on the money this weekend. So, uh, <laughs> we'll play an- in fact, we'll play another live track. Do you see Two Door Cinema Club? You wouldn't have got here by that time yesterday. No, I was I guess. probably changing trains in Bath Spa that time. So right. <laughs> I'd love to hear him. I bumped, I bumped into one of Two Door as they were leaving the site today. I said, are you staying around? And he said, not likely, not in this mud. This is Two Door <laughs> Cinema Club live. Thank you.